Are you there? Can I help you? Mm, okay, you received a, a gift card from our shop. Okay, I, as a present? Okay, very good. Um, may I see the gift card, please? Thank you. So, let me read. Mm. Well, you're very lucky, because with this gift card, uh, we can make you a bespoke uh, overcoat and a three pieces suit. So congratulations. Um, that's very great. Okay. Um, have you ever had a bespoke a suit made for you before or a coat? Never? All right. Well, you're, you're in for a treat, I think. Um, I'm gonna explain to you how we work. So basically, I'm gonna um, let you know how we can make you this suit and this overcoat. I'm gonna show you a couple of coats and jackets we, we've already made for clients before so that you get uh, a vision of the different styles you can go for. Then I'm gonna uh, well see how you feel about these, uh, what you liked and didn't like about um, these suits and coats. Then I will show you the different uh, fabrics that you can choose from. We have a lot, but basically I will show you the most common. And if you have any specific request, I can of course find the right fabric for you. And we will finish off by taking measurements um, of you in order for us to be able to, to make uh, the suit and the coat. Okay? So. Right, so I'm going to start by showing you the pieces and then we will discuss about the different um, options that you have, okay? Right. So I'm going to start by showing you the overcoat that we have there. Uh, this is a project that we've recently uh, finished for a client. Okay, so basically, I'm not, I don't know if you're familiar with uh, what an overcoat is. Basically, it's a long... Um, often in wool coat, okay? So this is something that you mostly wear in the winter and that you can, you can put on your suit or your clothes or anything, okay? So um, that's why it's interesting that you've had the overcoat and the suit. This means then that you can uh, find um, two different styles which, we, which will match together. Okay, so it's interesting that you're gonna have both made together, okay. So basically, um, yeah, so the length is uh, below the knee, okay. The coat is gonna go right below your knee. Uh, this one is very minimalistic because you have only one button on the side, so it closes this way, okay. And uh, you have two um, outer pockets and you can add some inside if you wish, okay. And we also have a very nice soft lining inside, okay? So that's a very classy overcoat that we have there. Um, the great thing is that you can wear it uh, the formal way, let's say, with a suit, but you can really wear it with uh, regular clothes, I would say. Um, one way I like to wear mine is with some streetwear, for example, for with the sneakers or this kind of thing, okay? It looks very, very good. So that's a great piece that you will be able to wear differently uh, all around the, the winter, okay? Of course, so we are using uh, wool for uh, the material and you can have basically any uh, color you wish, okay? You can also get some patterns if you want to. So that's it for the overcoat. I think you get um, how it can look and basically uh, yeah, how you can wear it in your day-to-day -day life. Now I have two jackets uh, with two different types of fitting. We have one skinny jacket and we have one oversized jacket. Okay. So just to um, let you know, we work on different styles of fitting for the suit. So we have the, the regular, which is gonna leave you a bit of place to move around in the suit. You're gonna have some slim fitting as well, which will be a, a bit tighter. 
you will also have the skinny feet, which is much tighter. Um, so yeah, that's a possibility. And we also have the oversized feet. Okay. So, so for the, the skinny feet, so this one is also uh, very classy. Um, so you can see that the color is very slim and um, simple. We also have only one button there, a couple of um, pockets. And at the back you can see that it's um, a skinny fit because it's very tight at the waist, okay? So that's something that you especially see on the skinny fits. Um, on this one you also have a bit of padding on the shoulders, which is an, an option you can have if you want to. And of course you've got the, the full lining, okay? Which is um, what we do best here. Full lining. Okay, so that's it for the skinny fit. This skinny fit is really a basic that you can have and wear, I would say, um, all around the year because basically you can wear it um, with your full-on three pieces suit of course for the formal occasions but you can also wear just a jacket uh, with a t-shirt with a shirt or really um, anything you want okay it doesn't have to be formal so that's a nice a versatile piece as well okay and the very last one is the oversized jacket So for this one, uh, this is a custom piece, um, rather more original, I would say, because, um, well, first of all, it is oversized. Uh, there's a bit of padding there for the shoulders. And we have two types of um, lining. So a bright violet lining inside, and on the sleeves you've got another one, which is white. And that's a nice way to wear the oversized jacket by rolling up the sleeves this way and what I like is the con contrast between the bright lining and the old-fashioned um, tweed-like wool on the outside, you know? So that's an interesting piece as well and the back is interesting because you've got um, two um, cuts there on the sides which is very different from what we've seen before And this one has many, many pockets. So you can see there's one there, one here, and two there. And also some insides. So um, that's an option that you will have how many pockets you want and where precisely on your jacket, okay? Okay, so these were three examples of our most recent work. I'm going to ask you now a bit of a couple of questions regarding what you've enjoyed and what you didn't regarding these uh, jackets and coats, okay? All right, so how did you feel about the overcoat? Um, is the very simple sleek look something you could be um, comfortable with? What about the color of the wool again? Do you have any specific colors you would like to have for your coat and your um, suit? Mm -hmm. Okay, so if I understand correctly, you would like something um, easy to wear, not too out there, and really something that would be a basic for years for you, correct? Well, regarding um, well, your complexion and your overall look, I would say that um, maybe a, a camel um, wool would be ideal for you because this is another basic which usually um, make you look um, healthy and have nice skin and it's really um, a good color and a good choice for everyone. Whereas the, the gray can look um, a bit down and sad on some persons, so I would say the camel would be interesting for you. I'm going to show you a couple of fabric later on, but I think that would be nice for the overcoat. So the camel overcoat you could be wearing with your suit or of course other clothes. And for the suit then, if we take a camel overcoat, I think a navy blue would be ideal for the suit, you know, because black is um, 
not the happiest color for a suit, I believe. But I know that the navy is a popular choice and it's looking very good on many, many people. Okay, it's a basic which would uh, complement very well the overcoat in a camel color. Okay, that could be interesting. Okay, so let's say um, camel overcoat with a navy suit and for the lining then we can have a little of fun you know with another color which would be hmm. for the lining color I'm not sure I would say a light beige would be nice you know um, how to say mm -hmm. like a very very pale and rosy yellow would be interesting with the navy blue as the inner lining, you know, so people wouldn't see it, but it would be a nice um, complementary color, I think. And it would um, be good with the camel as well, so that could be a possibility. Okay, for the lining, as we are discussing it right now, we do silk lining, if you're okay with it. And we only do fully lined, so uh, no half lined or anything. Okay. For the overcoat, so I've shown you one with only one button, but we can add two or three if you want to. I think for a classic style, two would be nice, but one is um, a bit more modern if you're into it. Very good. Um, now, what about the fit? Would you go for the regular fits, or are you inspired by the skinny or the oversize? Because basically, uh, the overcoat uh, will be at your size, but it's a bit big, and um, you will have some room to be wearing the three pieces suit underneath, or even actually um, a sweater, because it's rather big, and you have some room underneath. So this wand um, with something else can look a bit of a size on its own. But for the suit, I would say regular is a nice basic that um, well you can have perfectly to your size. Mm -hmm. The slim version is a, a go-to as well. So for you, I would uh, suggest rather a regular or a slim version. Mm -hmm. Okay, now what about the color? Uh, did you prefer the color of the slim one? So very, very sleek, or the color of the oversize? Mm -hmm. Because with one you will have a very modern look, and with the other one it's more of a um, classic traditional suit. Okay, perfect. Oh. For the lining, I've just thought about another color which would look very, very nice, but a bit bolder. It would be a uh, rouille orangey lining, you know? So a rather earthy orangey red lining underneath, which would look perfect with the navy blue, really. Mm -hmm. okay. Perfect. Uh, now, for um, the suit, how many pockets would you like to have uh, on the inside or on the outside? Because it's nice to have a bit of a practical side to the suit, but um, if you do not have too many pockets, it's gonna look sleek, so yeah. It's just about finding the right balance. Mm -hmm. Very good. Okay, um, great. I think that we've clarified the direction we want to go to um, for the suit and the overcoat. Now I can show you a bit of the fabric that we have regarding what we've been saying. So I know that for the um, basically overcoat I have a couple of uh, wool which would be looking very very good. So I have this one in camel, this one as well. 
and I have a, a, a one which is okay I have uh, three fabrics which would be looking very very good for the overcoat and uh, two of them are basically camel tones brownish as well and the last one is a houndstooth um, pattern okay so, so here we have the three fabrics so you can see that this one is going to look very very good okay it's very warm very soft uh, it's a nice choice for the overcoat this one you can see is a um, bit darker and has a bit more of a um, different feel to it so that's a bit different and the last one is a bit funnier because it's uh, a pattern and yeah it's a bit more retro so um, yeah it's a bit discreet but so it's a bit different okay so for you I would suggest um, either the first one or the second one is going to look gorgeous um, maybe the first one is going to be slicker and the second one is going to be happier having a, a bit more of a personality so how do you feel about um, the fabric? Mm -hmm. okay very good um, that's great I'm going to show you these are uh, very next to the navy color for the suit, just so you can see how they complement each other. So this is not the right color because I'm currently out of stock of the navy blue I want for your suit. But basically you can see that the camel is going very well with the, the royal blue there, okay? So um, yeah, I think it's gonna look very, very, very good. Okay, so I'm just going to write down the choices you've made and we will move on to the measurements. Okay, so now we know what kind of fabric we want to use for the overcoat. For um, the suit I'm going to go with the navy blue I told you about. And I think that's it for all the preparation and uh, style definition. Just one thing, so uh, we're going to... Um, well create the suit and the coat here in uh, our atelier but the thing is that it's gonna be taking uh, two weeks around two weeks okay okay so today i'm gonna take your measurements and then we'll be working on your suit and overcoat so in two weeks time you will be able to come back and then we'll be making the very last modification before you can have them for you okay okay so that's it for this part Let's move on to the measurements. Okay, so now for the measurements. Um, I need a couple of these. I will start with your height, okay? So let me just um, move on with this. So I'm gonna need you to help me on this one, okay? So I'm gonna put the measuring tape just uh, underneath your feet, okay? And I want you to hold it so that I can look how tall you are. Okay, so let's go. Um, okay, so... Yes. So now you can walk on the measuring tape. Mm -hmm. Perfect. And I'm gonna roll up. Up, 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 up. Okay. Okay, great. So I have your height now. I'm just going to write it down. Very good. Now I need uh, to measure your neck regarding the color of um, the suit we're going to make you. So for this one, I just want you to stand um, relaxed, okay? Do not contract any muscle or anything. And just let me, um, well, and just let me put the measuring tape around your head. Okay, just like that. Okay, very good. Hello. Great, thank you. So that's it for the neck. Perfect. I'm gonna measure your shoulders now, so I'm gonna go around you and measure from one from one shoulder to the other okay right 
so let's go so from your back then from shoulder to shoulder Perfect. Okay, now I'm gonna go with your underarm chest size, okay? And then I'm gonna do the overarm later on. Okay, so for this one I'm gonna measure the widest part of your torso, okay? So can you uh, move up a bit your arms so that I can uh, put the measuring tape underneath? Okay, thank you. So, sorry, I'm gonna get a bit close. And measure. Okay. Very good. Yeah, so um, don't hold your breath or anything, okay? Be as natural as possible. Very good. Perfect. So now I'm going to do the very same thing but for the overarm, meaning that um, you let your arm, um, um, how you, meaning that um, well, you do not uh, move up your arm or anything, I'm gonna go around your arms, okay? So, very same thing, up, okay, okay, perfect. All right, I'm gonna move on to your waist size, okay? So for this one, can you bend to the side, please? Okay, very good, you can um, go back to normal. Okay, same, I'm gonna go around. Yep, just like that. Okay, thank you. That's it for the waist as well. Okay, I'm gonna go for the seat measurement as well, which is the widest part of your hip. So for this one, yeah, I'm gonna go a bit down. Okay. Okay, perfect. Very good. Okay, now I have two more left and these are uh, for the trousers, so for your legs. Um, okay, I'm gonna measure the inseam and the outseam. So for this one, can you stand with your legs uh, apart? Mm -hmm. Okay. Perfect, I'm gonna measure both legs. Okay, so perfect, do not move. So that's it for the inseam, and we're gonna move on to the outseam. Okay, so same thing for the outseam, do not move or anything, and I'm gonna measure it. So yeah, the outseam this way for the first leg. Perfect, and the second one. Okay. Very good. Oh, wait, right. I forgot the sleeve length, so yeah, for this one I'm gonna measure from your shoulder seam to um, below your wrist. I'm gonna leave two inches, yeah, I'm gonna need these, okay, so from your shoulder to below your wrist, okay, very good, and the second one. Okay, very good. Perfect, so um, that's it. I have all the measurements I need. Um, like I said, we're gonna need you to come back in like two weeks or so. I will call you for this, just for you to try out. So the overcoat and the suit and make sure that um, it's perfect. And if there are any details or anything to um, tune finally for everything to be perfectly your size, it's gonna be possible. 
okay so either it's all perfect and you can walk out with um, your new suit and new coat or we keep the coat and the suit in order to uh, make the changes needed okay so uh, thank you very much for coming by today and i will let you know whenever um, the coat and suit are ready okay so have a great day and see you soon